Okay, guys, have you ever heard of Endman tycoons? Those people who get excited about their money, their salary, and spend it the first day, and at the end of the week, they have no money. Hello, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. Welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Click on that subscribe button and hit the notification button so that whenever I post, you don't miss out. So let's get right into it. So the first tip that I want to give you, budgeting. Budgeting is very important. So many people hate budgeting, but budgeting will save you a lot of heartache at the end of the month or during the month. So you have to know how much money is coming in and how much money you are getting out of your account. You have to know your expenses, what you really need and those things that you just want, not needs. You have to sit down at the beginning of the month once you get that paycheck and write down the essential things that you want, like rent, like gas, like food, things that you can't do without, you write down. Write down and write their costs so that you know how much you really want to spend that that month. And now you write down those things that you just want and don't really need, like going out for dinner, going out for movies, like buying clothes like me. I'm crazy about clothes. So... You write those things down so that you know what you want to spend on and so that you know how much money you, you want or you've gotten at the end of the month and how much money you really, really, really need to spend. The second tip that I want to talk about to you about is about tracking your expenses. Tracking your expenses is very important, especially those little expenses that you really don't think about like you just get out that card and you use it like just going to starbucks and getting some coffee mm, the little handouts that you give out without knowing you should track them and how i do this is i have small notebook that i usually write down whatever i've spent my money on that week let's say not really a week but that day let's say i went out did some grocery shopping maybe took some uber i write those down you'll get that at the end of the month you used so much money on little things that could have gone unnoticed so once you know those things you know how to cut down on them you really don't have to go out maybe for coffee or maybe a meal that you can really cook at home mm, at maybe a quarter or a third of the price or half the price the meal you took in the hotel so you should track those little finances that you you throw around without noticing the third tip that i want to give you is about saving Saving is very important and how I go about saving is there are so many several rules about saving. There are those people who save the 70-30 rule, the 30-70 rule, however you want to call it, or there are those who do the 10-90% rule, I advise you to get maybe a 10-90 rule so that you save 10% of what you get on the month and you maybe spend 90% or you can save 30% of what you get per month and you spend 70% of it or if you can't do either of them so it means that you are supposed to get another source of income because it's maybe you are living above your means or maybe your finances are just not enough to meet your 
you are spending so you have to get a second source of income which is also very important so what i can encourage you is you save at least something at the end of the month and what i do what i normally do is i usually save on those accounts that it will really task you to get that money once you need it so that you just don't think of that money and you just go get it and also what you can do is you can use the those system that save for you automatically that is when the money hits your account they automatically deduct that money it, it will be maybe 10 percent or maybe 30 percent of your income or whatever the percentage you are saving it doesn't matter as long as you are saving so that it goes directly to your saving account that usually really helps so so saving is much important and it will give you that sense of relief knowing that you have something on the side at the end of the day or at the end of the month yeah the fourth tip that i want to give you is about investing okay i've talked about saving saving is good but mm, i know saving cannot make you rich so you have to invest that money save and at some point you'll invest that money when the opportunity comes so you have to invest your money invest in something something that will grow your money you might save 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 at the end of the time maybe after after five years whatever you've saved maybe the the value has re re reduced so it's good to invest in whatever you are saving for Mm, be it in real estate there's so many things you can invest in just to grow your money investing is very very important you can also invest in yourself fifth tip that i want to give you is live within your means and i've done this mistake so many times guys when i tell you that there are some days that i just go buy things that don't really matter that things that I look at at the end of the day and wonder really why did I buy this thing so you should just live within your means it is very important don't go pleasing people buying things because you saw someone with something and you also want it or maybe you are competing with someone or maybe you've seen the latest mode of iPhone and you just like how to get it please live within your means if that phone of yours is still working is still serving your purpose just stay with it and save that coin seeds or whoever you are save that coin it is not it doesn't really add value to us to your life to go break your bank go crash your account and it feels so nice if you live within your means and there is something in your account it is the most satisfying feeling so just live within your means it's very important if you want to save your finances and if you want to have a healthy relationship with money the sixth tip that i want to give you is stop pleasing people there are so many distractions right now in the world there is so many flashy things flashy cars flashy clothes whatever there are so many distractions and you'll see things and you're like oh i just want that and you go break or crash your account just to get that just to please people yeah in the long in the long run those people don't they don't care about you the people that you think that care about you because of your material things they don't really care about you the people that care about you will value you without those expensive things people who come into your life because you have this car you have this phone model or you you are having such and such a house they don't really add value to your life so stop pleasing people and just live 
within your means. It's very important if you have to have that healthy relationship with your finances. And I'll insist this because social media is filled with so many things, things that get into your head and you just want to live like such and such a person. But the reality is not so many people on social media are really living the life that you think they are living. So just live within your means. It's okay. So the seventh tip that I want to think that I want to talk about is spend what you have, not what you think you you have. So many people do this often times. So you have this maybe up in your phone or maybe you know you can get a loan somewhere or maybe just expecting money at the end of the month so you just spend that money mm, you go take a loan and spend it on unnecessary things and because you know at the end of the month i'll get this money and replace it that's how you dig yourself into a life of debts so just spend what you have not what you really think in your head that this money is gonna get into my account when it has not really gotten into it so just spend what you have just it also goes back to living within your means yeah then the eighth tip that I pay up your debts guys debts are like slavery they are like the modern day slavery so if you have that debt just pay it pay it up sacrifice mm, cut down things so that you can pay it up mm. don't take more loans don't take more debts to pay that debt because the more you take debt the more you get dig yourself into that hole that you'll be so hard to get out of it so if you if you have a debt it's very very important that you pay it up at the end of the day after you pay that debt is how you'll get you'll be getting up the financial turmoil that you've gotten yourself into yeah then the ninth thing the ninth tip that i want to give you is to start a side hustle side hustles are very important what I've learned over the years, I've been working for maybe seven years, ever since I finished college. And what I know is that that employer's salary will not really make you rich. It will not make you financially stable. It will not make you live the life that you want to. So the good thing that you can do is just start a side hustle it's that whatever you can do to bring in more income extra income just work towards extra coin that will help you in the long run and just relieve you all those of those maybe debts that you have yeah and give you that freedom that that satisfaction that at least you're doing something on the side that's also bringing you money it also gives you a sense of stability because if you just rely on an, you are liable to so many things every time you are just so worried that maybe if this job goes away what will happen so the 10th thing that i want to talk about is be smart be disciplined with your finances yeah by that i mean that you just don't spend it is just like a summary of everything that i've been talking about just don't spend things spend money because you've seen someone with something or there is something the latest something in the market you just go through your coins be conscious about your your spending and be smart with your finances it's very important okay those are the tips that i had for you for today thank you so much for watching and if you have some some other tips that you may want to add please 
write it in the comment i'd like to know thank you so much for 